Hello everybody, today I want to talk about auto crafting in Minecraft. A very controversial topic, a lot of people would argue it's too OP, feels too modded and shouldn't be in vanilla Minecraft. But in my opinion, there is a place for auto crafting in a game, but in just in a very restricted form. The reason why I think auto crafting should be part of the game is quite simple. We've spent entire afternoons with multi hour sessions of crafting on a Cycroft server. For example, we need to craft regularly a lot of slime blocks, redstone blocks, iron blocks, also more complex recipes. For example, recently we had to craft 1 million pistons and to be frank, it's boring. It's not fun at all to yeah, spend multiple hours crafting in Minecraft. Of course, in Cycroft we take it to the extreme. Not everybody will craft a million pistons, but have you ever needed to craft, for example, a stack of dispensers? So there are some parts of the game that are just not fun at all and there's only so much you can do to automate that. Also want to quickly show the machines we regularly use in order to make uh, crafting more bearable. And then at the end of the video I want to suggest an auto crafting table that feels vanilla. So now I want to show you what we usually do in Cycraft to craft our items that are basically the current state of technology. There's essentially three ways in case we just need a small batch Let's say we need a bit of colored glass, then we just go to our storage and craft it manually, nothing special there. If we need a larger batch of items, then we have a shulker box crafting system that can be filled up um, shulker boxes. Uh, for example, I need some planks because I want to craft pistons later, then I can take out the items out of the shulker box and in case uh, I fill it up more than would dispense the next box and then I can just keep crafting uh, the planks. Also what we additionally have on Cycraft is the so-called control Q crafting. Uh, this is not vanilla, so we just need to hold down left control and left shift and it would also craft the item and immediately drop it on the floor so it would not overfill our inventory. So this is quite convenient, fortunately this is not a vanilla feature. Okay, then we can just fill up here this shulker box with the crafted planks. And this is really good if you need a smaller amount of items for our uh, yeah, scale. Then the system is quite decent. In case we need a ton of items, like recently we had to craft a million pistons, then we use this dropper base system where we fill in shulker box for different slots. So in case of the pistons, there are nine crafting slots and each of those cells receives a certain amount of shulker boxes full of those items. Then we can turn on the system, activate a clock, and it would drop the items in the water stream, would arrive at the player, then we can just stand here and pick it up. Fill it up with redstone dust, so yeah, we can make redstone blocks with this. Also we use the control Q crafting again, so we just need to stand here and basically write a little script can AFK craft certain blocks depending on uh, the materials we filled up the system. Alright, so the disadvantages of this system is still that it still requires the player to be nearby. It's rather slow uh, because we're limited by the lag of course because all of the items need to be dispensed and I would say it would be Really nice if you would have some kind of a block that could automatically craft items without the interaction of a player. And we already have a similar system actually in Minecraft, which is the brewing stand. So here's for example our potion brewer. So the brewing stand itself is quite simple. You can fill it up manually, it works fine. But what's, what's really nice about it in Minecraft is you can automate the whole process. So here in the back you can see the complex brewing system we have. They can brew a complete shulker box of any potion recipe in 45 seconds. And in my opinion that's really uh, what, what makes Minecraft a lot of fun and is really unique that you can make complex systems with easy components. And it would be nice if you would have something similar to a brewing stand just in crafting bench form so that we can automate it. Basically automate it via hoppers and droppers that can fill in certain slots of the crafting bench automatically. There are already quite a lot of mods with auto crafting tables 
which in my opinion definitely fit a lot of mod packs or those mods, but are rather boring in its implementation. For example, I remember playing a mod pack where you had an auto crafting table, you had to make a schematic, uh, depending on the recipe you want to use, put that schematic in the auto crafting table and produce the items accordingly. You had to pump in items from one side and then you can suck in the items from another side and that's it. So one block that is it all, basically a one block solution for a problem. Quite convenient but rather boring. And yeah, what I would prefer would be something similar to the brewing stand. So there's a lot of redstone around it as you can see. Uh, this is not a one block solution, a lot of external program needs to be done in order to automate the process. And this is for me the whole fun, the, the challenge of automating certain things in Minecraft because it's really not trivial, it's not like a block you pump in items from one side and take it out from the other. So that's why in the spirit of the brewing stand, XCOM and Massa created a mod for a better crafting table. So here it is, the low-tech crafting table mod, a Minecraft 1.12.2 Forge mod that was released about half a year ago. And yeah, that's the following thing. So the first thing is that it is able to hold items in the crafting slots, unlike the normal crafting table. Uh, so that, yeah, they made the crafting table a tile entity, which also means that it can no longer move it, at least in our current uh, Minecraft version 1.12. We're still hoping that at some point we're gonna get tile entities that can be moved. Right, so here's how it works. You're able to fill in those slots with, the, with a hopper at the top, one after the other. And then it stops when all the slots are completely filled and you can put a hopper at the bottom that would suck out the crafted item. But there's a caveat. The hopper below is also able to suck out the items out of the crafting slots, which in the first moment seems a bit odd, but it's actually necessary in order to automate, for example, the crafting of something simple like a redstone torch. And I really like the fact that the low-tech crafting table is not a one-block solution. It's not as easy as pumping in items from one side and taking it out from another. Except maybe what actually works is crafting stone into buttons. This would be a possibility, but pretty much everything else you need to put in some effort. For example, if we would try to uncraft slime blocks into slime balls, then you need to at least add a clock that would shoot in an item a certain interval in between, otherwise this would happen. But everything is possible with this crafting table, but you need to program it externally. So next I want to play around a bit with the better crafting table to show what the challenges would be. So the first thing I want to do is make a block crafting system. So I want to craft redstone dust into redstone blocks. And all we gotta do is basically keep the hopper below locked and after a certain amount of time quickly unlock it, then wait until it's filled up again and then send the next pulse. Okay, so yeah, all we need to do now is hook this up to a clock, then we already have a redstone block crafting system. So there we go, I added a comparator clock here in the back which causes the contraption to suck out the redstone block just in the right moment so it clears the crafting slots again for new redstone dust. Okay, so the next thing I want to try is actually to speed this up somehow. Uh, so we're only limited by the speed right now in which the hopper can fill in items into the crafting table. So this is the next setup I want to try out. Dropper is able to transfer an item every 4 ticks if you power it that frequently, while a hopper can only transfer an item every 8 ticks. So potentially this system would be 6 times as quick. Not completely surrounding it with droppers because I think it might be easier just to do it with 3, uh, because it would fill in one row, then second row, then third row. If we would have 4 droppers, then yeah, it would end up with 8 and then it's already completely filled up. So this might be better to just do it with 3. And there we go, added a clock and a bit of redstone on the side again. And there we go, we have a faster, better crafting table. And that's really the nice thing about the better crafting table, that it can be really creative how you want to accomplish things. So I'm already having a ton of ideas, similar to the stone button crafting. You could maybe use the fact that we can suck out the items or the products very quickly, hopper minecarts, 
in order to make it work. So let's try this out. Let's fill in some slime blocks here at the top. And I would assume, yep, the hopper minecarts suck out the slime bones quick enough. But then, of course, we have the challenge to empty those minecarts. So it's not that easy, but it's also a nice idea how we could maybe accomplish something like that. And we can probably also do something similar for the block crafting. If you fill in the better crafting table uh, with eight droppers on a fast clock, you can probably fill it up completely before a hopper would try to suck out the next item. So we only need to lock the hopper initially and then it should be good if we just yeah, let the rest do its thing. So let's try this out. Unlock the hopper and then we should get a steady flow of redstone blocks. Okay, that's pretty nice. Next, let's try to do something challenging. I want to craft dispensers automatically, but not only a dispenser, I also want to make the bows that are required for the dispenser. And this is one of the issue, empty slots. What are we going to do now? So if we just would fill in the items, uh, in, for example, at that order, then we've got a string, then a stick, string, stick, etc. But you could never make a bow shape out of this. You need to rearrange it this way in order to craft a bow. But yeah, you can't fill it in like that, because you can only fill in one slot out of the other. We need to fill in dummy items into the better crafting table. Then put a hopper below, they would only suck out the slime balls. And then we can also suck out the bow next. So this is going to be actually quite challenging. Alright, so here is the basic setup without wiring yet. The idea would be that we put... A hopper filled with dummy items below the better crafting table. Using slime boss here, you could also use iron nuggets or just a named item. Then you would suck out three slime balls out of the uh, better crafting table. So we need to unpower this torch a certain amount of time that it can suck out three slime balls and then also the bow. Also, this hopper would transfer the slime balls from the first slot over to the next hopper. So we have enough space yeah, in order to also suck out the bow in the end. We also make a loop so those slime balls are put back into the system the end and we sort out the bows with a non-stackable item filter. So we take uh, the single strength 2 of the bow and briefly unlock the hopper below so we can suck out the bow. Okay, I'm gonna try to wire this up. So the first step is done. I added the non-stackable item filter and pulse extender so there's enough time to suck out all of those items. So you can see we have enough time to also suck out the bow and then we block the hopper again. The bow goes into this chest right now and all the slime balls go into this chest at the moment. Now we just need to add additional mechanisms. So we're gonna block this hopper as well from uh, transferring the items back. Another alternative would be to just make that loop a bit larger but our powering it would work as well. And then we also need to um, unpower this hopper below so that it would suck out exactly suck out those three dummy items. All right, uh, probably need a mono stable and some kind of a pulse extender so this will be unpowered the correct amount of time. So there we go. We got our bow crafting setup that also brings it back to the default state. As you can see, suck out the bow, and then we got the two slime balls back again. And we have the bows now. Alright, of course we also need to fill this better crafting table with the corresponding items. So we're gonna add that mechanism on top now. I made two systems for that. So basically a simple system and a more complicated system which has the advantage that it need fewer storages. So the simple system is quite easy. We have eight storages, one for each crafting slot and you just need to fill it up in the right order. And here in the back we've got an activation line so we just power all the droppers here that would shoot an item into the crafting table. And then we get the correct recipe. So let's add a server here. And as you can see it fills up correctly. Now I just need to take out the slime balls and get our bow. This is the more complicated system with some redstone timings. It's just the same but has the advantage that you only need storage for string, uh, sticks and the dummy item. Okay, let's also see this one. Casks can probably also be optimized. 
just want to show you what's possible with this. Alright, so we're getting there. I added the simple system here at the top. So we're going to first fill in this better crafting table with the corresponding items. And then after a bit of delay, so we just detect items in this hopper. We turn on the mechanism at the bottom that would suck out the items. Alright, so currently we have two bows in there. The press of an item would get a third bow. So first this is filled up. And then we take it out. And here's our third bow. Alright, so next step is now adding the crafting system for the uh, dispensers as well. Alright, so here we go. We got a fully automatic dispenser crafting system now. At the top we would produce the bows of this crafting table and then we would feed the output into the dispenser crafting system here at the bottom. It's pretty much the same. Uh, just the you know, middle slot is reserved for the bows, and the other ones we have cobble and some redstone dust. Okay, here yeah, you can see the better crafting table making the dispensers. It's quite slow at the moment, but does its job. There we go, got the next dispenser, and here we got the output. Of course, the system is not really optimized. I just quickly put it together for the showcase. Then you could also improve it. For example, the additional slime blocks, uh, slime balls we get here could be fed back into the storage here at the top. I think we have some slime ball storage somewhere. Yeah, so this could could feed this back and just optimize it and compact this a lot. But yeah, this should give you the idea how you could use a better crafting table to craft really any item in the game. Alright, that's it for the better crafting table showcase. What I wanted to achieve this video is just showing that an auto crafting table can feel vanilla-ish. So it's definitely not too modded or too OP uh, as quite a lot of effort goes into yeah automating something. But it's a lot of fun and is exactly what I find interesting about vanilla Minecraft because I'm already having so many ideas uh, what you could do with this. For example, you could yeah, make some kind of a system where you would program the crafting table to craft certain items so it would work with any item or you could for example hook up farms together. So imagine you would combine a cobblestone farm with a witch farm and a spider farm then you get and of course a tree farm in order to get sticks then you can get a fully automatic dispenser farm in the end by just combining several farms in one. So this is just a really fun component and I think this would really fit well into vanilla Minecraft. Unfortunately I'm not too hopeful that we would ever see an auto crafting table like this one here in vanilla Minecraft because it's not really the direction Mojang is going with at the moment of the game. Some of the well lovers have the opinion that Minecraft shouldn't become Factorio and player interactions should be really the base of the game. In my opinion, the auto crafting table would not replace any of the uh, player interactions really. Just in the long run, it would get rid of the yeah the grind <laughs> of uh, spending hours crafting these dispensers or blocks really. So in my opinion, this would fit very well and doesn't replace, for example, in the early game that you craft everything by yourself because it's still a lot easier also for casual players just go to the crafting bench and put everything into it manually. So nobody really would be forced to use the auto crafting table. It's something for the technical players to automate things further. And in my opinion, that's what really Minecraft is about. Freedom to do stuff in a sandbox game, not forcing the player to play it in a certain way. All right, also let me know what you think about an auto crafting table in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.